Electric Car Network, and what we have here today is what they're calling a custom 1971 Pontiac Le Mans T37 Coupe. Now, before I tell you a little bit more about the history and what kind of makes this thing a little weird, a quick word from our sponsor. Life is too short to drive forward in cars. <laughs> Okay, so a quick bit of history first. So the Tempest from 1964 to 1970, it was the cheapest mid-size Pontiac that you could get. But mid-year of 1970 to 1971, Pontiac created the T37, a Tempest sub-model to kind of kick up sales um, up a notch, you know, during a recession. And it was called the Tempest T37. Now for 1971, the T37 ended up absorbing the Tempest series, but it lasted all of one year. But what was great about the 71 was that you could order any Pontiac engine in the T37. This meant that the 455 HO was not restricted to the GTO like in past years. However, only 26 people did that. While this T37 is not one of those 26, it does perform like one because it ended up having a transplant to put this 455 engine inside. Okay, so like I was saying, this has the 455 HO V8 and it's equipped with the correct D-port cylinder heads, intake and exhaust manifolds. So this thing is paired with a turbo 400 transmission and it's also backed by a 12 volt rear axle assembly. All right, so taking a look at this gorgeous exterior that you see. Now they call this paint the tropical lime. And on the inside, we have a matching sort of green color that really complements this vehicle, just like these rims complement this paint. It really looks phenomenal. It looks like it rolled right off the factory floor, but this one is a little bit special other than the fact that it has the transplant in it. It was rescued from an Indiana field and underwent a full nut and bolt off rotisserie restoration. And I mean, look at it. This thing is in incredible condition. All right, so as we look at the inside, there's that green color I was talking about. And look at those floorboards. That green pattern is super funky. Now the restoration process has ensured that everything on the interior remains as original as possible. All right, so as we come to the exterior here, one notable feature would be this uh, giant rear spoiler back here, this rear wing. And it doesn't look like your average spoiler. It's, it's really, um, you know, thick and it's almost reminiscent of an airplane wing. And I really like it. And I really enjoy how they color matched it to kind of keep the whole green scheme going on. Um, but it is a really cool T37. We had to bring you guys. Let us know if you learned something new because I definitely did when I was pulling the research for this car. It's got a lot of history to it. So let us know down in the comments if you enjoyed and thanks for watching.